Welcome back to the channel and today I once again try to break the sound barrier in trail makers in a way that I have not tried before. I have tried to accomplish this task in just about every way this game would allow me including in the air, on land, underwater, using pistons, using engines, using thrusters, and most recently using cannons which did not turn out so well. But there is one way that I don't think I've tried yet and that is with the gimbal jet. Probably one of the simplest modes of propulsion in this game. Activate jet, go up. But that's the thing about the gimbal jet, is you only have one possible direction and you are fighting directly against gravity. So in this episode, not only do I want to find out if it is possible to break the sound barrier using nothing but gimbal jet power, but if so, what is the fewest number of gimbal jets I can manage to do it with? If I can even manage to do it at all. Let's start testing some things. So the gimbal jets really are extremely simple. They have a power level and by default, they're on max power. There's nothing I can really do uh, to modify that in vanilla trail makers and I don't intend to do any modding. For this to count, it has to be vanilla unmodified trail makers in my book. So I need to choose a seat because we need to be able to control this thing with a seat. So I could choose the cockpit, which is the most aerodynamically sound seat, but it is not the lightest seat. But I think aerodynamics is going to be more important than a few kilograms of weight in this one. The other thing about this gimbal thruster is they only attach on the side. So I am going to have to add some extra profile just to get these gimbal thrusters to stay attached to the creation. And this gets me curious now, what is the, uh, what is the wind resistance like? The aerodynamics on these are absolutely terrible. So that is another obstacle to overcome. Whatever I do for the gimbal jets, I am going to have to block this terrible aerodynamic profile because we're not only fighting gravity, we are fighting air resistance as well. So I think the best way to attach these gimbal jets uh, is to use these flat connectors because I don't believe they actually count for aerodynamics. You can see there's no arrows here. I don't know if the game truly doesn't count these or if they don't show up in just the arrow calculations or the arrow display, but uh, let's see how this feels. Just a single gimbal thruster at max power on a seat. How much speed is that getting us? Because we need to see how our diminishing returns are going to be as we add gimbals. So we need to get up to 1,234 kilometers per hour around there. And I gotta be honest, this might be way easier than I was anticipating because we are already at 224 kilometers an hour vertical just with a single gimbal thruster. So using that, let's make some guesses. Put your guesses down in the comments below right now. How many do you think I'll need to break the sound barrier? Because after that, I kind of feel like this is going to be very possible. All right, have you guys made your guesses? Because I'm going to make my guess now. If we're going 224, I mean, if doubling the gimbals doubled our speed, then we would really only need, what, six based off of that? But I don't think that's going to be the case. So I'm going to guess 15. 15 is going to be the number that I'm going to throw out there. But let's get a feel for how much this power diminishes as we add uh, another gimbal thruster. So if this is truly double the power and then double the output, we should reach 448 kilometers an hour. But I highly doubt that's going to happen. Here we go. So 224 up to... This is actually pretty good. That is 343. So that is a little bit more than 50%, I think, if my estimations are correct. So if this was 50% of the total speed, is it going to be another 50% as we add a, another gimbal thruster? Which would take us from, or wait, we were at like 340, so that should take us to about 400 then? Let's see if this takes us to about 400 now. A little bit more. So that's that's uh, better than another 50%. All right, so now it should be pretty easy to copy and paste this template with all these attached. And keep in mind, I have not added the aerodynamic cone on top of these either. So this is how many gimbal thrusters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go for a flat 10. All right, so with 10 gimbal thrusters, oh my goodness, we are more than halfway now. Okay, I think... I don't know. I think I might be able to do it with 15. I mean, I'll have to make some additional modifications, but if I'm, if I'm just going raw, simplistic gimbal thrusters on top of a seat, um, this is way more doable than I thought it was going to be. The cannons gave me so many problems, but this is like smooth sailing. Really smooth sailing. All right, let's go to 15 now. 
My original guess was 15. Do you think we're going to do it? Keeping in mind that I have not added any aerodynamic uh, uh, efficiency onto this thing. Are we going to break 1,000? No, we're not going to break 1,000. We're going to get close, though. 925. 927. All right. This is, this is actually so easy to get speed out of gimbal thrusters. Too bad the gimbal thrusters are only monodirectional. All right. So if I had to estimate 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six. I think another six with this uh, design will get us over the sound barrier, but it doesn't mean that that's the most, e that this is going to be the fewest. This might just be the first. All right, let's see. Do you think, uh, wait, how many was that? So six, 21. All right, let's see if 21 is going to cover it. If this doesn't cover it, I'd honestly be surprised. We're getting, oh my goodness. I thought this was going to do it. How many more do you think we're going to have to add? We're getting, we just keep getting more and more diminishing returns. We're approaching, eventually we would approach zero where each gimbal thruster just doesn't get us hardly any uh, increase. All right, well, I'm going to add another four on top of that. So this should be uh, 25 now. Yep, just double checked. We got 25, please. Come on, get us. Whoa, look how fast that meter's going up or the dial. Oh my goodness, we're so close. We are so close. You gotta be kidding me. 25, and we are just under 1,200. Okay. I think three more should do it. Okay, here we go. 28. 28 gets us up to 1,200, and... There it is. There it is. It was like 37. Interesting. I thought it was going to be 1,234. So, 20... Did I say 27? 28? I already forgot exactly how many this was. I think it's I think it's 28. Oh, I hit the <gasps> Have I hit the skybox before like that? At least not. I don't think I've ever went all the way up to the skybox in the test map. But 28 thrusters is definitely not the least amount, but I need to recount just to make sure. Oh, this is oh, it was so easy. To, I don't even have to count. There's a power core. Each one of these are exactly one power core. Okay, so now I want to answer the question. I have to see what the max speed of this thing is though, but I have to answer the question. Is this actually the best seat for the job here? The uh, the airplane cockpit. So we cap out around 1238 1238 Seems pretty consistently 1238. Okay, we have our max speed. Now we're gonna see what the change is if I change to a lighter seat. All right, so these are both identical weights. Let's take a look at their aerodynamic profile. Interesting. You know what? This one is probably going to be way better because even though it is not going to be centered, it's going to have a massive advantage where it is going to be more aerodynamic, but uh, attaching it, I guess, is the issue here. I mean, all I really have to do is that, right? Now, it shouldn't matter that I'm going to be a little bit off center for weight. Ooh, it could matter a lot. You know what? I am going to have to do two different tests here. I'm going to have to test both of these seats. All right, let's see how this one is. The motorcycle seat should be way lighter. 1,238. Oh, look at that. The aerodynamics just are not nearly there, but it could be the fact, see how we're leaning now? So not only is the seat aerodynamics affecting things, but now the entire craft is not punching through like it should. So that was a huge, uh, huge detraction from our overall speed. So far, the spaceship cockpit is the optimal for this job, but this one is more symmetrical, so we should stay straighter. Let's see how it feels, despite the, uh, the aerodynamic profile being way, way worse. And actually, this one's tilting us too. The weight distribution of this one isn't that great, but it's better. It is actually better than the motorcycle seat, which I did not expect. All right, I think we're just able to hide more of it behind the gimbal thrusters. So it is close, but it is still worse. So based off of that, I think the aerodynamics are way more important for our uh, cockpit here. So we are going to go with the airplane cockpit for sure. I think the only thing left to do is to uh, give this thing a nose cone and we should be able to break 1238 with that. And that means we can start reducing the amount of gimbal thrusters and figure out exactly the minimum number of gimbal thrusters we're going to need. And remember, my prediction was 15. So we're going to see if we can go. I actually don't know anymore about 15. I am not... We're at 28, taking away almost half of them. Just by adding a nose cone, it's not gonna happen. I totally underestimated on that uh, prediction. But hey, who knows? So for a nose cone, uh, I'm gonna go with 
the 4x1 wedge because aerodynamics seems to matter a lot more than weight right now. And these are one of the most aerodynamic blocks. And then, ooh, these have a great attachment point right on the side there. I actually wasn't even expecting that. I thought I was going to have to add an extra block for these to attach to on the end, but nope, that is great. This is... This might be the optimal uh, design right here. Let's see how far above 1238 we can get this thing now. Are we going less straight? Whoa! 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 My prediction of 15 might actually be legit. That never reached its max speed. That more than doubled. Just by adding that aerodynamic nose cone. <gasps> oh, no way. Okay, now all of a sudden my prediction of 15 feels like I overestimated. All right, let's bring it down to 15. There's 19, 16, 15 power cores. I, I don't know what to think now. Do you, I think this is going to break the sound barrier and more. I think we can go lower than 15. Who guessed lower than 15? All right, here we go. I think we're doing it. I think we are doing it. Look, it is going so fast. No problem. Oh, man. I was... It's still over 2,000. Are you kidding me? Are we going to be able to go down to like three? What? I did not think this video was gonna have this big of a uh, twist of fate here. All right, I'm going down to six. Let's see if six can do it. I'm actually, I think six can do it. I went from 15 down to six and, oh, this is actually getting closer. It still does it with room to spare. I cannot believe this. You know, I'm going down two more, four gimbal thrusters. Can you believe that we went all the way up to 28 and we're going all the way back down to four? and still might be able to break the sound barrier. This is, all right, now we're dialing in. We are definitely, oh, no way. Is this not gonna do it? I thought four was gonna do it. <gasps> four cannot do it. It has to be five. Wow, it has to be five? Are you kidding me? All right, have we found it here? This is now five gimbal thrusters. Four could not do it. Is five gonna have the power that it needs? I'm thinking yes. Look at that. It has. It does have more than enough power. You know what? I think I might be able to do it with four. You just saw me fail with four. So I don't know if you see what I see about this. But right now, in the more symmetrical way that I've built this, I need five to break the sound barrier. But I think I can shave off a few kilograms. And that might be all we need for four to become successful. So before I do this final optimization, you can see I'm back down to four uh, gimbal jets. Let me just see what my maximum speed was so we can see how much of a difference this makes. 1195 is the maximum that I saw. We need to get to like 1236 or seven for Trailmakers to trigger that explosion. So what I'm thinking is I have this built symmetrically where there are uh, flat connectors on both sides, but that is un unnecessary for actual functionality. If I delete this side, this side is still attached. So now if I go over here and delete this side, this side's still attached. Yeah, right, left, right, left, right. So the connectors alternate as they go up, keeping a little bit more symmetry. But you can see there's three on this side, two on this side. I don't know if that's going to affect our trajectory, which could be an aerodynamic loss. But uh, let's see now. Do you think this is going to be better? What was it? 1195? Let's see if we can beat 1195 and maybe break the sound barrier with four gimbal jets. Oh, whoa. 1180. This is not better. And I think it's because I'm leaning back. Oh, wait. 1195. 1197. This is slightly better. Okay, that was weird. So one of the things I'm noticing is we are not staying very, very straight. We have like a slight angle and I know that has to be hurting us. We are so close to the sound barrier with only four gimbal thrusters. I want to see if there's something I can do to get four gimbal thrusters to push us past the uh, sound barrier because we know we can do it with five. It's just the four is so close. There may be some slight little modifications that could do it. So one of the things I'm going to do, which I feel like is going to hurt me in the long run, is I'm just going to add these uh, rudders and hope... Wait, how heavy are these? 0.8? No, we need lighter ones. Let me see what happens if I add this onto the back of this thing. 
The goal is to make it go straighter so that there's less uh, wind resistance. And it does seem um, have a more consistent trajectory, but look at this. Whoa, it worked. It worked. It actually helped. We broke 1,200. I totally thought that was going to hurt us because it's just another thing to resist the air. But that helped in a way. What does it feel like to duplicate the nose cone and make it a tail cone as well? We still broke 1200, so it's actually still better than having nothing on the back. Let me check my aerodynamic profile. So the arrow is the direction of travel. So you can see we actually do have green arrows here. But do you think these green arrows are identical to these? Like if I had this up here instead would that be better i don't know let's try it out yeah my angle whoa whoa it worked what i totally thought it wasn't gonna work look at how my wow four gimbal thrusters just took me up to 1430 I was stuck at 1,210 and I added like heavier, I added more weight and got that? I gotta do that again. I was just, I, I was just looking at the, the angle of my craft and I'm like, this isn't doing it. I didn't even see, I just flew right past the sound barrier with four gimbals. This is seriously unex, like crazy results here. What about this design with only three gimbal thrusters? All right, here's three gimbal thrusters now. How high can we get with three gimbal thrusters? Oh my goodness. Oh man, this design is so much more efficient. I still, I, I can get up to 1190 with only three. I highly doubt I could optimize three any more than I have. There is one modification that I think I'll get some more speed out of. I think if I go back to this rudder, I think this might actually uh, make me slightly faster with this design. Let's see what happens. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is doing some weird stuff. Not beneficial though. You can see, whoa, you can see the effects. That's bad, but 1200. Oh, <gasps> I just broke the sound barrier with three gimbals. I just, I just broke the sound barrier with three gimbals. All right, admit it. All of you were wrong. All of you had to have been wrong. Like, if any of you guessed three in the comments, like, seriously, it, it's a lie. You, you, you didn't do that until after you watched the video. There's no way anybody would have guessed three after seeing the performance of one at the beginning of the video. There's just absolutely no way. Here we go again. Can is this repeatable? Was that just a fluke? Look at what ha it goes crazy once we get over a thousand, but it goes crazy enough to get into a good angle. Come on, do it. Please do it. Be repeatable. No, we just lost so much speed. We're going to hit the ceiling. We did it. We did it twice in a row right before the ceiling. <laughs> okay. All right. I I have to. It wouldn't be ethical for me to stop it there without bringing it down to two and just seeing how much speed we get out of only two. All right? So, we know we can do it with three now. How fast is two gonna get us? Like, how much? No, there's no way. We're not even breaking a thousand with this. Look at that craziness. Oh no. No, no, we're going back down. There's, it doesn't have the stability. It just doesn't have the stability. It's not going to have the stability. No, no, I think we found it. All right, I think this might be my best two gimbal version, but we're not anywhere close enough to uh, the sound barrier. I don't think that I don't think there's a reasonable expectation that I can make enough modifications to something this optimized uh, that'll make a big enough difference in our speed to actually break the sound barrier. I feel like the three gimbal version is the best version. Let me add the, just the gimbals back and see if this shape, because this is a kind of a cool shape. I like this shape. See if this shape is actually capable of breaking the sound barrier or if it's worse than my original three gimbal version, which I actually don't remember that well. Oh, uh, I think it's worse. I hope I can remember my shape for the three gimbal version. Yeah, we're not getting there. There it is. Yep, it does it once again. I think we found it. Three gimbal thrusters was the answer. 
Um, I can't really imagine making any significant changes to this craft right here that'll improve performance. I don't know. I guess I'd be curious to see if anybody could make it happen with two gimbal thrusters without exploiting anything in the game. Just keeping things at all expectations as they should be. Dealing with the aerodynamics, no no aerodynamic glitches, no other mods or anything installed like that. Just two gimbal thrusters and the rest of your building parts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this deep dive into gimbal thruster sound barrier exploration. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some other content on the channel that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.